How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and today we're talking about something very strange, some mechanics that I'm just learning about that I think people in KVK Season 1 who are in leadership really need to know about. Um, very strange, it makes absolutely no sense. I'm hoping Lilith hears about this or gets enough complaints about it where they change it. It's very strange. So we're going to go over all of it. I will explain it. I've got VIP chat with Caesar, who's on WhatsApp. You get that from VIP support. Um, some people have it. Some people don't. Kind of depends on the money spent in the game. But um, we're going to go over what the issue is, what I'm trying to accomplish, and what I can no longer do. And it's uh, kind of a bummer. But uh, let's get through the intro. Here we go. Okay, so here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to apply for special immigration. Now, we'll go over what that means, but if I go into 2565, not a kingdom I'm interested in applying to, but as you can see here, it's different than the page you just saw. It shows places remaining zero out of 30. I'll go over that in a second, but it also shows at the bottom here, must apply. You can apply for special migration, when you exit KVK Season 1, a kingdom gets three special migration tickets, I guess it's called, where you can uh, have three applicants get approved to migrate into your kingdom, which is great. I think that's really good. At the beginning of every month, you get another one. So I think it's really good, especially there's some major issues with these 30 places, and we'll go over that. Definitely some issues that Lilith has to fix. It's unbelievable. But there's some mechanics that leadership needs to know about. So if you're in KVK Season 1 and you know you're going to have migrants in once you're done because KVK Season 2 is a hot commodity and of course you're going to have people who want to come in. Only makes sense. But we'll go over what the issue is. So I can't get into 2563. And I'm not going to be able to for KVK Season 2. Not going to happen. Um, as you can see here, it says, sorry, you do not fulfill the necessary conditions to immigrate to this kingdom. Please try again once all conditions have been met. So at first glance, you read this, it's like, okay, well, there's no cap on crosses and immigration. My account in 2396, and I guess I got to take a break from this for one second and just say, sorry for people in 2396 who are seeing this, who are finding out for the first time that I do plan on migrating this account out. It is an account that is not ready for season of conquest. And with the uh, friendship and understanding of 2563 that I've had with my free to play account, it was a great opportunity for me to bring this account back to KVK season two to better prepare it for season of conquest. Really a great opportunity. I, I don't think anybody in this account, and we'll just quickly show you that anyone in this account situation would not want another KVK season two. It was a farm account for a very long time that I re kind of energized as a field fighting account. It needs a lot of work. It's doing great, but I don't even have YSG expertise. I like, it just needs a lot of work. So another KVK season two and three on this account would have been fantastic. But let's jump back out here. So 2563. So sorry, 29, uh, 2396. Hopefully I don't get like kicked in zero. I don't think I will. I did pretty decent. This KVK, I think I was like rank 98 or rank 88 kingdom wide for you know helping in king's landing could have done better but i was on vacation at the same time um, got to 5 million kill points which was awesome got 500,000 dead which i think is pretty decent could have gotten more totally understand it but i was on holidays that's my excuse i'm sticking with it um but okay ay 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 so i can't do this once i go into here it says no cap for cross season. I should be able to apply. I should have the same ability to apply like I just showed you on that other kingdom. But for whatever reason, it says the destination kingdom has not filled its cross season immigration quota, which makes no sense because right here it says places remaining and you can see that zero out of 30. So all the cross season immigration spots have been filled. So the quota is done. So I don't know why this is an X. It's wrong. They need to change that. That's the first problem. Okay, so maybe they're out of special immigration chances. We can see that. We can see that there's still three. And then we're gonna talk about the VIP, but I wanna show you. 
I want to show you and I want to show you the rules where it specifies that it doesn't count for the 30 quota that you get, which we'll talk about in depth in a second as well. What a mess. So many things going on in my head. So I apologize if it's a little frantic here. But immigration, if I go on to here, this is where you see immigration applications. This is where if I would have hit apply in that other kingdom, I think it was 2565, this is where it would go. If they had chances remaining, you can't apply if there's no chances. Special immigration chances remaining. I There's three in this kingdom. It says it right there. That's my mouse. You can see a three. Refreshes in four days. That means you get one more. Because if you go into here, special immigration rules, you can read through this yourself. Everybody can. Very easy. You'll see special immigration chances can be accumulated to a maximum of three times. So you want to use these right away because once the next month comes up, you're gonna get one more. At the beginning of each month, kingdoms gain one chance. So you wanna use that at least once every month to not lose that extra, because it's capped at three. But let's look at the bottom, number six. Special immigration will not count towards a kingdom's cross-season immigration quota. So you get 30 open spots at the beginning of migration after KBK season one ends, and there's a little bit of a cool down time there. You get 30. Then these are different. These are outside of that. Now, here's where the problem is, is that this is so strange. I've got to kind of read this in two parts here. So no cap doesn't mean no cap, which is such a weird thing to say. It just like they got lazy and didn't want to put another section here, I guess. So what no cap means apparently to Lilith is 48 hours before this kingdom opens for migration, it's cross-season immigration power cap, which is this one right here, you can see my mouse, will be locked and cannot be changed until the kingdom enters Eve of the Crusade for the next season, which means migration is locked because as soon as you enter Eve of the Crusade, you're locked out. No new migrants can come in, special or not. Nobody can come in. All right. So... What no cap means is, let me just pull up mine now because I'm jumping back and forth. This is from another one. So that previous VIP chat was through somebody else in 2563. This one was from mine. I'm still waiting for answers on other questions I have. So I will post this in my Discord, link below, jump in. I will have all the posts on there. I just don't want to put it in here for YouTube because, and I'm not gonna post the other guys VIP support, I'll ask the same questions and I'm sure I'll get the same answers because it's Julius Caesar. He knows what he's talking about. Um, but what I asked was, hello, can you explain how I can apply to 2563 for cross kingdom special migration? The kingdom still has three special chances remaining, which I've shown you, but I am not sure where I am supposed to apply. Clearly, they don't make it easy. Um, the not fulfilled reason makes no sense as the places remaining are 0 to 30. We talked about that as well. Hello, sorry for keeping you waited. This is Julius Caesar's talking. The Julius Caesar, just so everybody knows. Um, since the kingdom's immigrant power is limited to no cap, special immigrant cannot be used. Very strange. So, I'm not sure why they did this. It's very odd. Um, I don't know, maybe it's to limit how many powerful people can come in. I guess because the cross season immigration power cap, because it's locked 48 hours before migration opens after KVK season one or two, that means that anybody over, you know, a Baba could jump into 2563. 30 of them could. And then. You know, you can get three more with the special migration. So I guess they're trying to limit how many people come in. But there's nowhere where it says that it locks out your special immigration afterwards. So what should have been done is 2563, if they would have known, and there's no way anybody could have known this because it's not said anywhere, is if they would have set it to, say, 65 million power, which I really don't think you should. Like, you shouldn't leave your immigration power capped at 65 million because then you could have rogue whales. 65 million is a whale. And after KVK season one, that's still considered a whale. You could have a rogue whale jump in, start zeroing people, right? So you probably want to leave that at like 25 million 
35 million if you have a good amount of whales already in the kingdom who can handle those players even 45 million is acceptable so maybe you do those and then anybody over that you have the special ones for because the problem with and we're just going to quickly and i'll jump back i might i probably won't cut this because i end up talking through the whole time anyway so i won't cut it but the problem with the 30 quota is is that people can sneak in and and what happened was is that if i zoom out here and i just go back because it's easier to talk about and easier for people to follow if i kind of have it shown on the screen and then you can kind of understand what i'm talking about but okay places remaining so you get 30 places for people to jump in from cross season migration or same season same region you get 30 spots so what we had happen was and that happens all at one time so at 14 utc a couple days after our kvk season one ended Migration open. I was awake on vacation at 9 a.m. Clicking this immigration button. Clicking it, clicking it, clicking it. I was in a hotel in Mexico, a resort in Mexico. Shouldn't say hotel, because it was pretty nice. Um, but the Wi-Fi is spotty, right? Like it's not great. I didn't have a great connection. It is what it is. I didn't get one of those 30 spots. Even though I applied and was pre-approved by leadership in 2563 ahead of time, 10 people snuck in. And how they snuck in is people from Season of Conquest. One guy was like 10 million power, migrated from Season of Conquest into this kingdom because there was no cap. There was no cap. They, or even if it was at 25 million, it doesn't matter. Anybody can migrate in. And that's a problem. And I know people had said this ahead of time. I think this could have been great if there was an approval process, whether it was you know, a bunch of R4s approve it somehow through the Lost Temple or even the King. I know that's giving a lot of power to one person, but typically Kings rotated and leaderships run by a council anyways. So I don't see the big deal. But anyways, 10 people snuck in, lost my spot. 10 people lost their spot, which sucks. Really sucks. Everybody was looking forward to playing with their friends. Obviously, that sucks. That's why we play this game. We enjoy it. A lot of the game aspect and why people love this game is because of the community aspect. So 10 people lost their spot. And now we can't get in because some reason there's this weird rule that if it's set to no cap, you can't use your special immigration. So here's my warning and kind of the heads up. And if this helps one kingdom avoid this mistake, then this video is a success. I'm, I've got less than 2000 subs. I know it's not going to go very far. Maybe another content creator will cover this. I hope they do. You know, if you're watching, I know some of you guys have watched my videos before. If you're watching, cover this because I think they need, they need to change this. They have to. It's absolutely absurd and it really frustrates a lot of people and it, it stinks. A lot of people who wanted to bring in their mains no longer can. So that's a bum bummer for sure but make sure you change the cross season immigration power cap i'd say a week before kvk even just just leave leave it at like 25 million power 35 million power 45 million just do not have it at no cap because then you cannot use your special immigration until next kvk so 2563 cannot use that special immigration they're going to waste each one of those refreshes until kvk season two ends and i'm sure they will change it as soon as either the crusade comes up they're going to change this cross season immigration power cap to whatever don't leave it at 65 million though i think that's a big mistake you're going to get rogue whales jump in because people are watching people know how the mechanics work in this game and 10 people knew how it worked really well had good internet smash that jumped in and stole 10 spots now how a uh, kingdom deals with that is totally up to leadership course me i want to burn somebody but i've got a free to play account at like 17 million power so i can't really burn anything so it is what it is but i hope this helps somebody i hope this spreads how the mechanics work i hope you guys share it um i've done my part it sucks um i hope i haven't offended anyone in 2396 i hope i still have a spot I'll try to apply right now an mw96 still um but i am still looking for a kvk season two for this account I've shown you why i've told you why this is a field fighting account and it is not field fighting ready for season of conquest it's just not no matter how 
earlier week the kingdoms are that we fight in uh, Season of Conquest, probably Heroic Anthem in 2396. Not ready. I'm too attached to 1937 to bring my main to 2396, or I would, because 2396 is a fantastic kingdom with great leadership, and I know they're going to have success as long as they get good allies in Season of Conquest. I know they'll have good success, but I can't leave 1937. I like, I helped capture the Lost Temple for the first time um, in the main alliance. I've spent so much time there, and the kingdom has become so fantastic under the leadership it has now. Um, can't leave. I just can't. Unless something drastic changes in that kingdom, there's no way I can I can leave at this point. It just makes no sense. But there you go, guys. I hope this helps somebody. I really do. Um, jump in my Discord. I will have my VIP chats on it. Um, ask questions. Leave comments down below. I read them all. I respond to them. Maybe you know a workaround. I highly doubt it. It sounds like these mechanics are just broken and stupid to be honest I don't like using words like this on my YouTube videos just just because I pretend like my kids watching it right because who knows who actually watches these uh, might be younger kids they don't need to hear cuss words but I think it is really really not smart probably a better way of putting it but until next time guys I got a lot of videos coming up I've got CPO prime I'm going to expertise I've got a new jumper account I'm gonna start as low spending uh, within about a week's time I just got to do a little bit of prep for that kind of figure out where and when I want to start it and how I'm going to jump around but there you go guys thank you for watching it is great to be back um, in front of the camera back on my PC because fighting war on my iPhone was awful Ugh, can't go back to that so glad to be back thank you guys for watching until next time have a good one later